egg and a three bit. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make the body dented so it's not as weirdish. So what we're gonna do so we don't have to do as many steps is just do control R down the center, delete half of it like we uh, like we've done before, and then just alright. So just delete half of it so it's like that. And modifier, mirror, turn on clipping, and set it to Y. So we just have half of it there and we only have to work with half of it. Alright. Okay. So now I show him. What? My witch guest bedroom. Um, oh, yeah, I used that this morning. Apparently. Ah, right. so I'm just gonna make this part. So you gotta like make this a uh, little bit straighter. Um, and then go to face. Oh, I know. Before you do that, do Control R to the top and the bottom. So. Um, so when you move it down, it's not like doesn't move the whole thing. It just moves this little square. So then you go to face, select uh, these two, and then just sink it in a little bit, not that much. And so yeah, I can't go past that otherwise it'll look weird. Uh, so yeah, this gun so far, you have that stunk in a little bit. Um, I'm not gonna bother with that stuff. So now the main thing that we have left to do is to add the materials. Yeah, I save a lot. Uh, so now for the material. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to the main body, which will be the easiest to do because it's all the same color. So just go to materials, new, uh, go to this, select, then go to Z. Uh, before you do that, go to Z, so you can see through it. Then go to a color that you want. Wait, no. so yeah. you go to this, you click select, and then you just choose what you want to be, what you want to do. Do that, and turn the intensity up. By the way. And the guns aren't really that shiny, just turn this uh, specularity down a little bit. And it's pretty good. Uh, oh yeah, it's pretty good so far. Um, for some reason, oh yeah, that's just a part. I forgot. Uh, so, and then, we're going to use the same color for that. So, you can just combine these two. Uh, you can just combine those two because they're the same color. Well, if you want to mess with the colors a little bit and, like, make it look different, you could just, like, do this. Just go to it. Um. Select these. Like, uh, select the top of them. And just change that to, like, like, add a new, new assign. And make it, like, black. Make it look different. And that's it over there for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, well, never mind. Don't add those. Uh, so then we're on this. Run to that. New. Do this. Suck in a color. I'm just gonna do that. That's just good. Okay, so. Nah, uh, that's not too good. It's too different. So I just go back to that. Specularity all the way up. And I'm gonna do what I said I would. Like I said I would do a second ago. Just select all these. Uh, and make them black. Down I go. Uh, so, and it takes forever to select all these. Because mm. I don't want to make the background blue and black, otherwise it would be a lot easier. So, once you get all these selected, just click uh, New, Assign, New again. And then you can. So, those are all white right now. Ah, oh, crap. Um. And I messed up. Gotta select all those. Select all those. Go back to this one and assign so it doesn't look all weird. Uh, so now those are all white, and I'm just gonna make them um, like black almost. I'm going to. So okay, I gotta go back to this. I'm gonna select this. I'm just gonna make it really dark so it looks different from the rest of the gun. So. And I'm just going to do what I did earlier, delete half of that, and, uh, do mirror modifier, because the mirror modifier, it also does, um, 
uh, materials, not just the model. So flipping in the next fly. And yeah, so it's pretty good. And I'm gonna do the same thing to these up here. Uh, sensor in the same object. Just go to that. Select. Yeah, so I'm just gonna assign that. I'm not gonna do this whole thing, just pass it on. Make it look a little different. Yeah, so there we go. If you had like an actual gun, it would look like this. Bang, no. Bang, shot, shot, shot. Yep. So that's pretty much it. So now we're gonna go to the front. Um, and these aren't just gray, it's like a little bit of a green. Well, more gray, silverish. Uh, turn specularity up because it's metal, it's all shiny, you know. Um, then go a little over to the greenish gray and then turn it up. So, then you should have something like that. I uh, don't know, that's too much green. Like, just a really, really little bit, so it almost looks like brown, like turquoise, sort of. Yeah, turn it. Oh, uh, crap, no. That didn't work. All of these up all the way. Uh, so, yeah, never mind. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm just gonna green up a little bit. Just like, yeah, that's good enough. Turn the intensity down. So, we got that. That's good. And then there's this, which this can just be the same color as this. So, you can just go there. Then it's 107, 121, and 107. And you can just set those. Zero point one oh seven zero point one oh seven and zero point one two one. So you have the same thing as you do over there, uh, except I had the intensity turned down a little bit. Specularity up. Uh, if you could look at the sound. Oh yeah. Okay, so I have all this, now I have this. This is like a little yellowish. Not a lot. Well, I don't know. Like, dark yellowish. Close to that. Intensity, yep. It's like brownish yellow, so yeah. And. Okay, so we have the front of it done, the body done. And it looks pretty good so far. Yep. So now we're going to do this part. And this has multiple colors, so. We're going to have to make, like, two materials. First one, just make that the black color because that's the most used. So just uh, make that a little darker, turn specularity up a little. Yeah, and it's hard to make it look like it's old and stuff um, unless you had textures. So we're not going to do that. So then you just select the, uh, this part, which is where it's going to be a different color than the rest of it, and you have to make it pretty much perfect. Otherwise, it doesn't look too good. So then you go to this and select, and you can just choose this color. Okay, so there we go. We have this. It's pretty much done. And it doesn't match the image perfectly, but it doesn't have to. Okay. Uh, I think I'm running out of time, so I'm just going to do the rest of this fast. I'm not really explain it. So, yeah. Ah, I forgot about the trigger. So just that has to be black, same as the handle thing. Pretty 
pretty intense feedback right there. Uh, and you finish with this. So then I'm just gonna set up the camera so it looks like from first person. And cam rules. I'm making a video. Gosh. Mm. Yeah, so just grab it down. Uh, bring the camera up a little bit, and you have it like this. Oh. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much it. And when it's doing after it's like that, which is you know pretty good. So we gotta move the light around until it looks right. Maybe turn the specularity down a little bit. Yeah, I'm just gonna copy this right and I won't put it out there because I don't think that will work. And it looks pretty good. We're gonna select the whole thing and join it together. So it's easier to do, I guess. Okay, so and just switch to FPA. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna add the world, paper sky, blood sky, real sky, misty stars. Um Make this blue. Make this black. Then add mesh plane. Drag it down a bit. Oh, it's still down there. It's still it up. Then move it so you can actually see it in your camera. Yeah, it's about there. Then go to material, new. Make it green. Yeah. Texture. And then you gotta make this dark green because it's gonna be the second part of the grass. And you gotta turn specularity ground because grass is not shiny. Crap. Uh, so, you should get finished and it should look something like that. If it doesn't, I don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, and just comment on it if there's anything wrong with this thing or you have any questions about anything. So, yeah. And that's pretty much it. So, good luck. Yep, and there you go. So, good luck with this. And I'm just going to save the image and put it at the end of the video. Just because this looks bad with my hypercam. So, light, machine, join the image, make it blender. Save. Okay, so, see ya.